what is walking within the city or what does it mean to walk in a city walking is not just an act it's the way people use walking and what they do with walking um let's say going from one place to another all right and going a little earlier you know so that you can avoid taking a rickshaw or a bus and then just walking to that place so for me it is like you know converting a very day to day activity something which is like boring kind of a routine for me i would like to make it a little bit more interesting be planned and you should go you know you should be disciplined and don't just loiter around and don't just wander around and all so this my father used to call me it's rakhdu matlab rakhadta rehta hai matlab somebody who is just loitering around and wandering around the place aimlessly i loved that and we used to have these arguments with my father you know, okay but that what what is wrong with that i i i do lo- walk a lot in the sense of um, when i first started walking in earnest in the city let me tell you i used to have nightmares that i will die while crossing a road you know i just could visualize that there is somebody who's going to knock me out of the thing but uh, later on i realized that just as i have a rhythm okay the traffic also has a rhythm of its own you know and uh, we can coexist in baroda my cycle was something was wrong with it i couldn't take it so i was in 11th standard i'd gone to school and i had to prepare for some debate or something like that but i remember i started walking and started thinking it over ki acha what do i want to speak about and kaisa hai and kya hai and you know roughly how will i structure it and what are the points and what will i start with where will i go next what will it, how will i end it and i started doing it and i realized that it was an automatic thing you're walking away and you you're sort of somewhere you sort of uh, your surroundings you register it them also but they are somehow contributing to how you are thinking and how somewhere or the other something is you know there's some strange interaction happening and you still get more and more inside yourself that that movement in the body also helps to get your thoughts into some sort i couldn't articulate it to myself like that in those days but i remembered that i realized that walked most of the way home without even wanting to stop for a chai or anything like that and i got the thing what i wanted to do and i actually came home and wrote it down and stuff like that from then on i realized whenever i wanted to try to write something or think of something i used to go for a long walk walking has become an essential part of my art practice because of the project and not the other way around and i've been going to chor bazar for many years and then uh, it turned into a project so in actually in this case the the walking and the chor bazar was just a separate entity and then it became an essential part of the project so yeah in this case the project came later i did a collaborative uh, sort of research slash painting project with two architects and uh, the way architects undertake a sort of field study is to do a they have to walk through those sites so they do a lot of site visits and then the term such as uh, recce which is actually a military term for reconnaissance so the recce site visit is even i think filmmakers use it so the recce becomes that important kind of inserting ourselves into the sort of space that we are supposed to look at
the most beautiful road in the suburbs is the road to Kaneri. From uh, National Park, you take, you walk up to Kaneri and you come back. And this was our favorite walk uh, when we were kids. And there were no joggers, you know, uh, there were no uh, health conscious people at that time. So it was just people like, you know, we had nothing better to do on a Sunday morning. Went up walking, you know, and came down. And it was a lovely walk. I am here with Jagger and I am here with you, but I am going with the energy of the energy. First of all, tell me your name. Rahul Tukar. Sir, where are you from? I am from Malad. How many times have you started your journey? At 10.30am. So, what do you want to do in this space? What do you want to do in this space? I don't think so. I just want to go non-stop. I just want to go non-stop. But in Siddhi Vinayak, there is no one thing. Just with your mind, it's been a lot of time. I've seen so much of it. 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 So, I've seen so much of it. Okay, let's go. You've seen so much of it. Now, I've seen so much of it. I want to ask you a question. I have been in the night of Siddhi Vinayak and I have been in the night of Siddhi Vinayak and I have asked a lot of people about Ganpati Ji. But first of all, first of all, what's your name? Chris Gurego. 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 So walking in that city for him is that. It is not just what walking is, but what, you know, how it opens up certain possibilities of understanding what that walking may mean. First, if it is true that a spatial order organizes an ensemble of possibilities, example, by a place in which one can move, and interdictions, example, by a wall that prevents one from going further, then the walker actualizes some of these possibilities. In that way, he makes them exist as well as emerge. But he also moves them about and he invents others. Since the crossing, drifting away or improvisation of walking privilege, transform or abandon spatial elements. And if on the one hand he actualizes only a few of the possibilities fixed by the constructed order, he goes only here and not there. On the other, he increases the number of possibilities, for example, by creating shortcuts and detours and prohibitions. For example, he forbids himself to take paths generally considered accessible or even obligatory. He thus makes a selection. The user of a city picks out certain fragments of the statement in order to actualize them in secret. So he gets off here and then immediately the minute the train stops, he goes in front of the train, crosses the tracks and goes through the hole in the wall, out, onto, back into uh, Parla West. 
so that becomes this sort of pathway you know that becomes that mode of that and everybody does it it's not just him everybody there are 10 people with him who are crossing and making that sort of invisible pathway and then nature itself within these small areas nature itself like it the pathway starts showing if something gets used then it starts to show so up you, if there is grass there then you're going to see that pathway that is created then more people use it because it becomes a sort of we are always about the shortcut like there was a quote of osip mandelstam he also always always composed his poems walking because there's something about the act of putting one foot in front of the other that rhythmic act which sort of according to him immediately you know causes um, the creation of like rhythmic words and thoughts in in your head walking in that sense would tell you that you know you are not at the same pace at the as what the city is moving you know people say oh look at the pace of bombay it is set by the trains like every 3 minutes there is a train i mean look at the pace of this life but uh, somewhere you can walk in the city and create a pace you know of of your own you know something which slows you down which kind of you know which makes you look at things and i mean i'm not saying one with nature or something like that but something where you know you are connected with the history you're connected with the people you're connected with narratives of how a place changes if you're walking and things are changing i mean you you are also accepting that a lot of my work is time based packets of time is either they stretch or they shrink and a lot of my practice deals with finding out narratives so then walking becomes this way of going back to those old places and finding out what is happening there right now and so i document walls and then i document the painting of walls and i make images of that i make drawings of that but this is i call this a blind spot because for me it is a very important activity of the city but it's not necessarily an activity that is looked at in the in terms of the city playing itself out so i try to tease out those narratives or talk about those narratives a person going to office near the station will walk by that wall every day without without even thinking twice but for me the city is playing out in that sort of sense it's a fiction thinly disguised sort of fiction uh is mainly trying to just describe what the concept of song lines or you know a, a dreaming is a dream time there are two aspects to it okay first this whole thing okay they have these creation myths okay every tribe has their own first ancestor who out of from from the underground he just comes up and they have one of the local animals like wallaby kangaroo this that whatever this thing just emerges from 
the you know the ground and he's the very first being and in wonder he just looks around he starts walking and with every step he take, takes whatever he sees he points out and names it mountain or this or that or this, something like that this kind of a, a green ditch you know all sorts of things like that and then supposedly they traverse the whole continent like that so they not just they're not just naming it they're actually bringing the world into being by you know naming these things and registering them and and then at some point they take their whole journey they have their adventures in life they come back and then they either die and they go back into the ground something like that and then actually that's the creation myth from all the, most of these tribes and then what happens is this song supposedly they called it a song because it was, and this song was um, sort of repeated by every like they every tribe knows the journey of its ancestor so everybody has to take that journey once and it's not just a journey it's a map it's both you know it's it's a song and a map like it's everything okay you sing it out and you bequeath it to your younger uh, members whenever there's an initiation मैं घर से निकलता हूँ तो सीधा आता हूँ विष्णु भगवान का मंदिर है आर्य बत्तीस नंबर में जिसको जो चाहिए सामान ले लेते हैं फिर वहाँ से मैं निकलूँगा तो अपना चाल चाल नासिक चाल हुआ मद्रास चाल हुआ फिर आ जाता हूँ शर्मा आर्य बत्तीस नंबर शर्मा का दुकान है बाल काटने का फिर वहाँ मैं दस मिनट बैठ के पेपर पढ़ता हूँ और चाय पीता हूँ चाय वाले के यहाँ फिर वहाँ से मैं इकतीस नंबर निकल जाता हूँ इकतीस नंबर जाता हूँ मद्रास पड़ा तो अपना वहाँ से धंधा करते हुए हम अम्बावाड़ी रिटर्न हो जाते हैं आदिवासी पाड़ा में आ जाएंगे और वहाँ से फिर मैं काली बस्ती संतोष नगर निकल जाऊँ फिर सेटेलाइट टावर होके घर फिर कन्या पाड़ा घर पे आ जाते हैं मैं बॉम्बे आया था नौकरी की तलाश में अब मुझे नौकरी मिली नहीं तो मैंने अपना छोटा सा धंधा चालू किया रेडीमेड कपड़े का और आर्य कॉलोनी में अपना धंधा जमाया आज 18 साल हो गया धंधा करते आर्य कॉलोनी में मुझे और यहाँ का हर एक जगह मालूम है यहाँ से लोगों से भी अपना जान पहचान बन गया है अपना रोजी रोटी चलता है you travel around in the night the world is different the world that is not allowed to exist in the daytime i mean forget about just you know these dramatic things like criminals everywhere simple things you know if you just walk down the street at night so many you know there'll be some people you'll just see simple things like somebody quietly standing in their garden i mean a different world exists in the night
skywalks are very i mean very surreal kind of an experience of walking there is a very interesting play of light on the skywalks you know it is still in that sense of you know semi real semi ethereal kind of uh, a feeling you're standing there and looking at people and getting that wind and you can see the traffic you can see the trains you can see people and yet you're not part of it you're like somewhere above it you know and yet you are a part of it एक्सक्यूज मी मैं 92.7 बिग एफ़एम से हूँ हमारा शो होता है मंगल मूर्ति मोरिया करके आप सीधे विनायक चल के जा रहे हो ना तो आप दो मिनट दे सकते हो जरा जाने का कल सुबह हाँ तो दो मिनट अभी के लिए चाहिए सुबह के लिए नहीं कल सुबह जाने का इसके लिए मैं थोड़ा बढ़ जा रहा ठीक है ठीक है क्या हो गया मैं नाइन्टी टू से हूँ आप दो मिनट दे सकते हैं हमें ठीक है ठीक है 